Fairfield Circuitry has graced us with an effects pedal that kind of defies typical pedal categorization. Is it a filter? Well, not really. Is it a chorus? Well, I mean, yeah, but no. Sure, a contrarian may argue, yes, those things are exactly what it is, but I say that's an oversimplification. Fairfield has done some creative and unique things with those components to really set this pedal apart from its more categorically bound brethren. So maybe I'll nominate a new effects category. How about Time Machine? I'm Donald Jordan for Bloom Music, and this is the Fairfield Circuitry Shallow Water. The shallow water does a couple things to your sound. It modulates the pitch, and it filters it with a low-pass gate. So let's look at each function independently first. The low-pass gate is the more straightforward of the two effects. It behaves similarly to the low-pass gates you find in the modular world, except the filter isn't opened by a control voltage, but instead by an envelope follower. This can make the filter feel very alive, and it rewards dynamic playing as louder notes will poke through, while softer notes will sink back into the depths. Extremely dynamic playing will find your sound continuously dancing above and back below the cutoff frequency, and emphasis can be placed on the notes that you really want to peek through. Patches that use velocity for emphasis or plucky dynamic sequences will work best with this. The LPG knob adjusts the threshold of the envelope follower. As it is turned counterclockwise, the filter requires a progressively higher input signal to affect the cutoff. What I found works best is to get a loop going and then slowly dial this back until I find this sweet spot where I get the desired amount of movement from my sound around the cutoff point. Alternatively, when your signal isn't dynamic, the low-pass gate effectively just becomes a straightforward low-pass filter. The other half of the shallow water's magic is the pitch modulation. Like a lot of other pitch modulation effects, the pitch changes come from modulating a delay line. However, instead of using the typical simple LFO for modulation, the shallow water uses a random voltage. You're going to hear me say this a lot on this channel, but random is a magic word when you're talking about synthesizers. You have a few ways to control how this random voltage alters the pitch. Firstly, the rate knob adjusts the rate of the random pitch fluctuations, and it has a pretty wide range. The depth knob adjusts how much the pitch is affected from imperceptible to no longer considered music. Finally, the damp knob tames the pitch effect by softening the changes in pitch, essentially a slew control. As you increase the damp control, the pitch changes become less abrupt, and at the fully clockwise point, the pitch modulation is completely smooth while remaining random and unpredictable. The rate and damp knobs are highly interactive and you'll have to play with them a lot to get an appreciation for how they relate. 
but essentially the damp control will determine how subtle or extreme the pitch changes are. The mix knob of the pedal controls the overall mix of the wet versus dry signal. At anything less than 100% wet, the pitched signal will mix with the non-pitched dry signal to create random wandering chorus effects. The unique sound of the random chorus alone makes this pedal valuable, but my happy place is at 100% wet. The dry signal completely disappears and what's left is a meandering pitch that refuses to be defined by your measly 12 note chromatic scale. This is the land of pink turquoise neon hues and sun-baked cassette tapes. The combination of the filtering and the bobbing and weaving pitch truly transports you to another era. Finally, the last knob on the pedal is the volume knob. There's quite a lot of gain here, so you should be able to feed any input from this thing without issue. So that's it for the pedal's controls. Now let's hear some more examples of its sound before I wrap up. People interested in this pedal are probably looking for a pretty specific sound, something dizzyingly retro. I wouldn't call the shallow water a one-trick pony, but it definitely has a specialty, and if it's the old school aesthetic you're after, this pedal delivers it magnificently. With its bare metal body and comforting nostalgia, Fairfield Circuitry could have easily named this thing the DeLorean. Fortunately for us, shallow water doesn't need a flux capacitor to take us 30 years into the past.